I'm sorry. I almost didn't see you all there. See, Christmas is right around the corner. And I've just got this question. Everyone out there is trying to define Christmas as something different. But it just doesn't feel like the true spirit and meaning of Christmas, you know? So I'm just wondering, what is the true meaning of Christmas? this one guy on TV. He said the best way to spread Christmas cheer was, was by singing loud for all to hear. So I guess that the true meaning of Christmas is about singing Christmas carols. Church. 
Are you next Sunday? Well, we're just busy. We, you know, we're we're just lucky we made it this year. Wow. They didn't even act like they wanted to be there. So I don't think the true meaning of Christmas is about making it out to a church service. But if it's not that, then what is it? You see a lot of movies on TV right now. So maybe, just maybe, the true meaning of Christmas is about watching Christmas movies, like a Christmas story. Your fault thing is so your own name. Oh yeah? Yeah. Says who? Says me. I double dog there yet. Are you kidding me? I ain't the one who gets the call. That's just an old thing. You're full of it. Oh yeah? Yeah. I triple dog there yet. <laughs>
And um, on down in verse 14 of that same chapter, it says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. The glory as of the only one begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So I believe John knew that Jesus was God. And uh, you skip on over to the third chapter of John, and uh, the question might be, why did Jesus have to come at all, right? Yeah. Well, I think it's one three-letter word that uh, we all deal with as human beings, and that's sin. Because God loved us, He gave us a choice. And we are, if you think about it, we are the only thing that God created that has that choice. Plants and animals, they all glorify God without a choice. But I believe God loved us enough that He gave us a choice. Because there is a choice, there's a good side and a bad side. We can choose to accept God's salvation for our lives, and we can choose not to. And when we don't, we we'll choose not to choose Jesus and his salvation for us. I believe it's sin. It's rebellion against God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. But that sin has consequences, and the price has to be paid for. But the last part of that verse says the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So from the beginning, God's plan of salvation is for Jesus to come to earth as a baby, Serving his ministry, finish, finish his mission that God had planned for him to fulfill. And, uh, and that's what he did. So that's why I can celebrate at Christmas time. And uh, the third part, the third verse of uh, John, did I talk about that already? If I told you that God is in, that Jesus came into the world so that the world might, but not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I've chosen to have that everlasting life. I believe that Jesus paid the price for my sins, and that I have a relationship with God because of that, because that price has been paid. And there's joy in knowing that my sins are not And there's joy in knowing that my redeemer lives. Well, thank you, God. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you.